Unlike the Major League movies that we happen to quote here quite a bit, the third one was atrocious. Back this, of the Miners was a mistake. This They don't even constitute that one. They didn't even throw real baseballs in that movie. No. This third part of the three-part series won't be that bad. No. <laughs> if you've been following us all week, Hashtag Nation, we've been uh, playing a little game back and forth, Paul and I. We've been talking about... Uh, the, uh, addressing Buffalo Bills' needs for the team. We've been talking about do we address those needs in free agency or the draft. Paul and I have been on opposite sides of both of these and using rock, paper, scissors to determine whether or not we're going to do that. The final position that we're going to address is the cornerback position, which I think is going to be hugely entertaining because there's so many different routes we can go. But before we play... Let's go. One. I can't. I got my okay. coffee. One, two, three, shoot. Give me a freaking coin or something. <laughs> Paul, which one do you want to take? Because, I mean, you give lost twice so far. Yeah, give me free agency. Do you want free You're right, I'm 0 for 2. You're 0 for 2. Dorian's over for the century against this guy. <laughs> Does have a couple foul tips. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> so free agency. Uh, so I gotta take. The, they're gonna draft a corner. Yeah. And you say that they're gonna sign a corner. Free sign agency. a corner free agency. Right. Well, just to let you know, the last corner they drafted, no one really likes. Who's the last corner they drafted? <laughs> I'm saying, your name is White. <laughs> we could have Mahomes. Yeah, that's true. Shut up. Quit your complaining, people. I can give you about what, what's Trey's number? Twenty-seven. 27. I can give you twenty-seven reasons why Mahomes and Buffalo wouldn't work. Yeah, I agree. But I'll do that later. Cornerback position, huge position to name. Well, number two, number two corner. Yeah, I, we're coming up on a funky time here, right? Because you got Tremaine. Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. You got uh, Tredavious White, who's coming up to the end of his contract. We don't know how this team wants to handle extensions. Mm -hmm. um, you, you've been playing carousel with your number two cornerback, and it hasn't been for a lack of options. You brought EJ Gaines in a couple times. You had Philip Gaines. You uh, hit Davis. Levi Wallace, Vontae Davis. Right, the list goes on and on. Kevin Johnson. So, are there right there five number two corners that you've tried? Right. So, how is free agency gone for? Right? How's it, how have you done? Right? That's where we are. You've, you've, you've Kevin tried Johnson five was times. the best. Kevin Johnson that. was the best on a one-year deal. But former first-rounder. Vontae right. Davis, former first-rounder. Was Gaines former first-rounder? He was former high pick. I don't remember yeah, if he was first-rounder first or not. First round. EJ but, Gaines was a first-round pick. But, I mean, that's what you're doing. You're trying to get somebody that can <clears throat> comprehend your system. Right. The first round. If they have talent, they can get the That's exactly it. It's, they're going by, do you have elite-level talent that is currently available right now? If the answer is yes, then we'll, then let come to Buffalo. But you may enter. The Bills have done a, a good job of keeping the secondary on life support because they have Tredavious, because they have Hyde, because they have Poyer. They've been fortunate enough to slide in number two corners and survive. It's not like the Bills haven't tried to address this position, but free agency hasn't gone the best, right? Mm -hmm. So I think this is a time where you make an investment. You don't know about Trey, right? You really don't. Mm -hmm. You don't know where the contract talks are going to lead you, although you could let him play out this year, get to his fifth-year option, pick up his option, and then you can franchise tag him for two more years. If you got the cap space, you could survive that. So you could conceivably get four more years out of Trey White just doing nothing. By doing nothing, mm -hmm. right? But do you really want to do that? No. I don't want to do that. No. So. Are you making the argument for free agency or against free agency? No, no. I'm going like to make you're... the argument for free agency. Here. Oh, okay. I think this free agent class is different than the ones in the past. And the reason I say that is because of the level of player that's available in it. So I look at. Uh, there's three corners right off the top of my head that come immediately. Kyle Fuller, Darquez Denard, and James Bradbury. All three of them, Ooh. I would take any one. I would take any of those three, all former first rounders, right? Oh no, Bradbury wasn't a first round pick. All, all. He wasn't? I don't think it was a first round pick. Okay. I think it was a third round pick. You're really you're shunning your boy. 
What? You, who's my boy? Who's your boy? Who's Trey boy? Wayans. Oh, I do love Trey Wayans too. You're right. Okay, so four. Well, no. Here's the deal. And I'd I probably wanna... take Wayans over Fuller. Okay, take out Fuller. Put in Trey. Wayans. Okay, I want to give I want to give the nation a little bit of a background because many of you guys have heard this before. Before we decided to go to the YouTube format, we did a podcast mm-hmm. and we used to do drafts. And yeah. one of the first drafts we did was I think the EJ Manuel draft. Yeah. It was. So it's not like. A lot of these names that are popping up that are just finishing their fifth year. Yeah, they're guys that we loved. We talked about at length. Yeah, they're guys that we loved coming through the draft process. So that's when we, when we say stuff like that, I'm like, your yeah. boy, your boy. Yeah. Paul would be like, oh, I really like this guy. I really yeah. like this guy. So, yeah. That's why the Xavier Suofilo comes up all the time. <laughs> With that being said, uh, there's, there's three to four really solid corners that are not going to cost you a ton of money. Darquez Denard was just in the bad, just in a bad system for him in Cincinnati. That's, I mean, that's really what it was. Yeah. Trey Wayans is a really super hyper aggressive man corner, which I would love to have. Yeah. You know, because you still have Levi Wallace. You're not doing anything with Levi Wallace. He's still going to be here. You will. So you can go for a hyper aggressive man corner and that's Trey Wayans. So th- there's a lot of really solid free agents that are going to be out there that aren't going to cost you a fortune. No. And that come with the pedigree that they want. I, to me, Darquez Denard is the guy because he's just so he's just so nasty. You he's love it, like, but he was of the mold so of nasty. what the Bengals were always doing. The Bengals always seem to have four first round draft picks right. in the secondary. <clears throat> um, yeah, it was always just all, constant, right? They were like the Bears. The Bears did the same thing where they just stockpile first round picks in, in on the defense. Yeah, that's and the what Bengals they would do. Did the same thing. That's what they would do. Uh, I like Denard. I think he's got more size than every guy on that list that yeah. you're talking about. Trey Wayans is just he's just unbelievably physical but you have if you have Poyer and Hyde back there that's fine what is what do those two guys afford you that you don't have right now the ability to blitz anytime you want right yep um a guy that's not mentioned who also is a free agent Kevin Johnson once again he yep. didn't play he didn't play bad no he didn't when we're it, talking about guys from that one draft class that we right um they're all coming up that aren't going to cost you yeah a lot right I mean, terrible Eli Apple's up for free agency. For yeah. Kind of he oh, was drafted it? before. It's from Ohio White. State. Pass. So is Kurt Coleman. But we have Kurt Coleman on this team. Uh, Kurt Coleman by attrition only. Point is this. <laughs> a guy that was drafted before, Tra- uh, Tredavious White, is now going to be a free agent. I'm, he's already right. done two teams. Right. So. Uh, well, and truthfully speaking, the guy who's most likely to be a target for the Bills is Bradbury. Now, he was only there for one season with McDermott. But that was also the same time that you lost Norman. What are you doing? Why, Here we okay? go, the Carolina connection. This again. is a good one, though. Sorry, this I was just echoing one. half of the subs. I, I know, but this is a good one. I agree with them that Bradbury would be a nice pickup, a nice piece. This, well, because when they lost Norman, Carolina did what any reasonable team would do, was they drafted a cornerback. But they drafted two of them, and they tried to remake their whole secondary because it was held together by bubble gum and Band-Aids. Yes. And then once Norman left, it was a pro- huge problem. The secondary that Julio Jones torched for 300 yards. Yeah, that was it. Well, and McDermott was out of there. As soon as that happened, he's like, yeah, I can't do this. Yeah, I'm out. I got to get out of here. But Bradbury has progressed very nicely. He's a very solid player. And as I said, here's what I think. I think, unfortunately, well, I'd like to, ha- I'd like to have Bradbury because I think he'd be an effective piece. He was scouted by Carolina, drafted by Carolina. Um I think he's more likely to follow Riverboat Ron in Washington with Norman. Man, I just can't see Because Washington I just don't see him costing a ton of money. Yeah, I mean, It might be a bidding war between him and Ron. Yeah. So if you see him get a contract that he – I mean, Snyder's known to do that. Snyder That's is known fact. to do that. So if he's getting, he's given a contract that is like, whoa, Bradbury got this – well, then you know that there was a bidding war for him. And what are you not – what are you not – what position are you not paying right now if you're Washington? The secondary quarterback. Quarterback. Oh yeah, they yeah they're, they have Haskins. So yeah. you, this is the reason why you can put money in different spots. Right. That's the formula of the NFL today, man. It is draft it's a so, rookie, draft a, a rookie quarterback, build up the rest of your team around him. Let and then that, when he's let, ready to take the reins, give right? It to him. Give it to him. Yeah, you're right. We're talking about free agency, very viable options. The Bills mm-hmm. have done a great job of identifying players that fit their system. However, they've have a, they've had a bunch of them. <laughs> I think they draft. You think they draft? I think they draft. Why do you think they draft? For the same reason that you and I were always on the wait. Bless you. Thank you. 
for the same reason you and I were always on the Whaley train. Yeah. He's never going to draft a high linebacker because he right. can scout a high linebacker. Right. He can get he can get value third, fourth round, fifth round, whatever. Um, I believe and I trust both that McDermott and Frazier can find secondary guys um, in the draft later rounds. Okay. I don't think they would get a guy. Plus the fact of what you just explained earlier. They have been perusing the free agent market for yeah. all these corners that were former first-round picks. Right. The only guy that has panned out is Kevin Johnson, who I think they resigned. I okay. think if you get him in the fold, because you think about it this way. They had Levi Wallace. They had stated in camp, it's Levi's job to lose. And he did. And he lost it. <laughs> and he did. Okay, but he did. But they said, hey, this is it. If you re-sign, Kevin Johnson could go into free agency like this. Okay, I could be a slot corner. He played everywhere. And, and, and you know, have to come up and support the run with my history of injuries. Or I could be the, this team's number two corner. Right. And the community and everything that's going on. I could sign here for a pretty, you know, pretty good deal. Not huge, but a pretty good deal. And, uh, you know, I could, I could play across from – I'm going to be facing number two wideouts the entire – yeah, you can't walk into a better You can't uh, better walk into scenario a better scenario. With two former defensive backs as your head coach and defensive coordinator. Oh, God, the, the coaching he must get, and the fact that you've got Hyde and Poyer back there with right. you as well. Well, let me ask you this. So if the Bills re-sign Kevin Johnson, do you think that increases the likelihood that they draft somebody or decreases the likelihood that they draft somebody? Increases. Increases. Increases okay. because you're not – you don't know the ability – you said you got – if you do nothing, you got Trey White for four, right. four years. Kevin Johnson's not going to sign anything bigger than three, I don't think. Right. Yeah, okay. I agree with that. So if you sign him for three, you draft a guy now to get in there so that after three years. He'll be in a contract here. Well, but you, you have a guy that could, if you don't re sign Johnson or he flames out after two or gets hurt, right. you got a guy there. The hurt is the one that I think is the most likely. Plus, you still scenarios. got Levi. Yeah. You um, do. You've already done this a year before with Jaquan Johnson. Yep. For the safety position. Yep. They've like already you, done this. You good teams get ahead of their positional needs. Mm-hmm. I they think do. If, you, if you draft a corner, you're getting ahead of your positional needs because you're not committed to Levi Wallace. You're not committed to Kevin Johnson. Like they're you're not committed you're not you're not committed to those guys. Plus if you're the gonna fact, take a shot, take your shot. Shoot your shot. Get go get a guy in the fourth round. Why plus, not? Yeah. Plus you got Edmonds, Milano, and Oliver. Three guys that you drafted that you're probably going to resign that'll be vets. That this that whoever right. kid comes in, you'd be like, okay, all right, I guess okay, they're going to hold me accountable. Mm-hmm. I think this might be another and scenario. I think they sign a free agent and they draft one. Uh, Bean and McDermott have a very big history so far that they've shown us that the players that they sign in free agency are really just tipping their hat and, and handcuffing themselves uh, against um, against the draft. The only one that wasn't done like that was Allen. I mean, in Edmonds, I guess. Allen and Edmonds both. But, I mean. We're talking about first-round picks, though. Different scenario. That were freaks. Yeah, different Oliver scenario. played right away. Oliver did play right away. But so first-round players will play right away for McDermott and Bean. What I mean is. the thing. No, I mean, the thing that's different from all of those. Like, we could see flaws in a lot of those <clears throat> guys. We could see flaws in those guys, too. But physically, you don't have to do anything with those guys. No. The other guys that we're talking about drafting, oh. He may run a four six. He's a little too short. Mm. There's none of that with Edmonds no. and Allen and, and Oliver. No, no. So prototypical. Yeah. There you go. We're saying an and, right? This is an and scenario. Did you agree it was an and? I think I agree. It's an and. Double down. Yep. So the only one we we disagreed on was the linebackers on Sunday. Yeah. That's okay. I'll just fight you for it. It's easy. Come on, guys. You know I'd win. Scrappy. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing this. No? No. Because it would be another and scenario. I'd hurt you and I'd go to jail.